Now let's do one more example where you can see something that was recently added to Java called Lambda expressions. First of all, I'll do the example without Lambda expressions. I'm going to do the example with Lambda expressions. So let's create this new class called demo Lambda with the public static void main. Let's say I create an instance of uh, pet type, pet p1 equals to new pet. And typically it will say, well, you know what? You cannot instantiate an instance of pet type, right? Okay, however, if I say, well, how about I write an implementation of the only method in the pet, which is play. Will you let me now create an instance? And the answer is yes. You can create an instance provided within, because see, you're still doing everything in, in the same instruction because of the semicolon there. So from pet to semicolon is one instruction. So what you're doing pretty much is inside there, you are creating an instance to write the body of the play like an inner class. And you'll say, okay, sys out, my pet plays with toys. And then outside of that, you can literally say p1 dot play. and run it. It'll work just fine without a problem. This is not Lambda yet. I will change this to Lambda. Now, how many methods are there inside the body of pet? Only one method. So if you write a body, that body will be for that only method. So what Java lets you do is this. Java says, just do this, write parentheses, and then use a Lambda expression, just like that. Drop the method definition, everything, drop it. When you do something like this, it, it automatically means Whatever is between the opening and closing curly braces is the body of the only method inside the pet interface. So with the help of Lambda expression, you are sort of kind of eliminating the need of having to write some unnecessary code because whatever you're writing is the body of the only method inside there. So that's the Lambda expression with a um, hyphen and a greater than sign. And when you run it, you get the exact same output. <laughs>